so welcome to another video everyone and today we are going to make this timer so we have a now five second timer here and as you can see when we are out it's saying that timeout so that's it what we are gonna make today and hope you will like it so today is the day five of our this 30 days 30 submit challenge so for the day five we are going to make this countdown timer so if you are interested to check out this repo about the challenges 30 day 30 submits that's i'm doing now you can check out the repo i will link it in the description so no more talk let's dive into the code here so let's create a boilerplate in our html and here so in our html i will basically have a section and where i will have a div with a class of container and in this div i will just have a h1 where i will just set this as a placeholder so that's it for our html so we do not need anything more so if i open it with the live server as you can see that that's our html so let's link our style sheet here so link the style sheet here and also the js in the end of our body so script source and after js so in the style.css basically what i will do actually i will just keep some basic style so after this basic style let's come to the section and let's make the height 100 percent or 100 vh and width 100 percent and also say that display will be flags and align items center and justify content center but basically what it will do is it will make this content in the center as you can see so uh, after that i will just have a h1 and for the font family i will use montserrat i already installed montserrat in my pc so that's why i do not need to add it from the fonts.google.com if you want you can add it so font size will be 90 pixel so i will have a big font here as you can see so that's it for our css so let's come to the script here so first of all let's get the h1 tag from our html so let's say that constant time heading but time h equals to document dot query selector and i want the h1 so it will get the h1 after that we need the timer time so let's say that i want to so let's say that i want to set a timer for the five second for now as a testing purpose so i will have time second five so after that let's actually show these five second in our display so here for that what i can do actually i can say that time second sorry time age means time heading dot in html equals to will be the time second so as you can see that now we have only five seconds perfect so actually let's do it for only the second so mean i can do something like that so that's what we have now but i want to replace the only second so so but i only replace the second one so means this one so let's have a uh, now we can pass our time second here and now as you can see that now we just only replace the second so perfect so after that let's actually create a set interval here so let's say the constant countdown equals set interval and in this function i wanna say something like i wanna run this function in every second and in every second i wanna run a arrow function here so in this function what i will do actually i will say that time seconds minus minus means i will decrease the second means from the five it will go to the four three two one so after that let's also display it so we can just say something like this that we did before to display our time second into the display so if i save so it should work but it is not working 
So as you can see that we define here constant so we need to make sure that it is a lat variable so that we can change it here so if i save now now as you can see that it is going 43210 perfect so let's say that whenever i will go to the zero i don't want to go to something like minus one martens two i don't want that so let's say that if our this time second is lower than our zero or what i can check is our time second is lower than one we can say something like clear interval so clear interval so the name of the interval which is the countdown so if i save and refresh so it breaks something here okay Oh, sorry this one will be here now as you can see that it is working perfect so now it is not going to the minus digit as you can see perfect so the timer is working perfectly fine as you can see so now what i can do actually let's say that whenever i want to display the time that's what i'm doing here i am displaying the time so instead of doing this here let's actually call a function so something like display time display time and i wanna pass the second which is now time second so i am calling a function and i am passing the time in second and let's actually create this function here so function display display time and i will have a second as a parameter here and let's do the function here so in the function what i want to do actually i want to take the function and divide it into the our minutes and also the seconds so something like constant so minute will be so i will divide it with the 60 and let's say that how much second we left after the minute so constant sec equals to second divided by not divided by mod by 60 so it will give us the second so now what i can do actually i can push it into the our display so for that what i can do actually i can say something like time age dot in html equals and here i can say something like instead of these now i can say something like for the minute i have the minute variable here so let's apply it here and for the second i have the second variable which is the sec so it is working but as you can see that we have a problem we are having this decimal value here but i don't want that so for that what i can do actually i can wrap it with math float so math dot float and just paste the value here so just cut it and wrap it with the math dot float so math dot float and paste the value so now as you can see that it is not giving us the decimal value anymore as you can see that we don't have the zero before our this single value so let's actually give the single value means what i am saying that if i score something like 15 or something like 70 so now it's you can see that one minutes and seven seconds but i want something like zero one minutes and zero three seconds so to do that what i can do actually i can check it before our this min so let's say that if our min means our minutes minutes is lower than our 10 so if this means is lower than 10 so what i can say that i can give it a zero before our the number and also if it is bigger than 10 we don't want to use anything in before our minutes so if i save as you can see now we have this zero before our minutes so looking fine so also do this for our seconds so before our second here so here so let's create this and say that if our second is lower than 10 what i want to do actually i want to add a zero and else what i want to do i want to make a nothing but empty string so now as you can see that we have this zero before our the second 
so it is looking perfect now so if i refresh as you can see that in the initial state we are having this 70 seconds value now we don't want that we don't want the 70 second to show in our display so that's happening because we are displaying this 70 by this function which is we did before so now what i can do is i can actually remove this instead of saying this manually i can something like display i can call the function and pass the parameter which is the time second so now as you can see that when i'm refreshing i'm just getting the number as you can see here so it should work perfectly fine so let's also wait for the two more second yeah it is working perfectly fine so also let's make it five for the testing purpose so also let's say that when our time is out i want to show something in our h1 so for that what i can do actually i can make a function here something like and time and just call it before our clear interval and here let's actually create the function so and time and here let's say that i wanna give the time h dot in html and let's say that i wanna give it a message something like time out so let's see five four three two one time out so that's it so that's it for this video i hope you guys learned something and if you do please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel so my name is arfan and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye kodahabbas